Ready Check Radio. What's up, chat? Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. It's Monday. We're back. I can sit for a couple of hours. I don't know how long the stream will be tonight, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so, yeah, it's Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Here we go. I'm Magic Man. Let's do all this stuff. Uh, Final Fantasy TCG, Final Fantasy trading card game. That is what's on the docket on Mondays. Uh, so I've been getting asked uh, quite a bit, and I've seen people periodically ask on the different Facebook groups, not to me personally there, but uh, to, to the general group, uh, how to play online an eight-hour stream. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be an eight-hour eight hour stream. Uh, how to play Final Fantasy trading card game online. Um, and so I'm going to start right there. That way I can edit this video or this stream and put up just this portion on YouTube with all the links and everything uh, that you need to get started. So, there are a few ways. There is no official way to play Final Fantasy TCG online right now. That doesn't mean there won't be in the future, but at least in the foreseeable future, uh, there is not and no plans to be that I am aware of yet. So, uh, there are a few different places that you can play uh, depending on your system and where you want to play. Uh, so we'll cover this one first because it's the easiest one. This is Untap. And as you can see, you just Google search Untap. Uh, ask me later for notifications. I don't want it right uh, this is a browser-based, so you don't have to install anything for this. The plus side is that you can play very quickly, and you can play on your iPad or whatever on the go because it's simply all done through the browser. The bad part is, is Untap basically is a tabletop. That's pretty much it. There are very few automatic things in a game that Untap does. Uh, it's a great platform if you and I are playing and we both know how to play. There are no questions. We're both very familiar with stacks and how things will resolve and keeping track of, you know, power increases and things like that. Uh, because, yeah, you manually interact with every card on the tabletop. So if you want to go that route, I would suggest that you have a very, very decent, if not strong, understanding of the game and that your opponent uh, has the same. On Steam, uh, Untap is free, by the way. On Steam, you also have the option to use the Tabletop Simulator program, which is 20 bucks. You can usually catch it on sale every time there is a Steam sale of some type running. Uh, Tabletop Simulator just seems to be one of those games that's always on sale in like the winter sale and the summer sale and you know whatever, the weekend sale, whatever. Uh, yes, th this does a whole lot more. This really is you know a tabletop simulator. You can and people have built add-ins for it to let you play checkers and chess and uh, Catan and just like all kinds of stuff. There is a free Final Fantasy trading card game uh, mod for Tabletop Simulator. We messed with it a few streams back. Uh, very, very cool. Um, but un just like Untap, one that you have to know the rules of the game. There is really nothing automatic that Tabletop Simulator, even the mod specifically made for FFTCG, is going to do for you as far as power increases and markers and counters and... Uh, resolving the stack and, and stuff like that. So those are two methods for the experienced um, and your opponents being experienced. One is free with Untap. Uh, tabletop Simulator is 20 bucks. By far the most commonly used one is Octagon. It's pronounced Octagon. If you just Google searched O-C-T-G-N, you will find the first link that you'll see in the description when this is on YouTube, uh, octgn.net. Uh, and this is the core program that you need. Uh, 
this is the core program that you're going to need to play online, Octagon. So come on over to the website, click on download, go ahead and get it. While you're here, sign up for an account. You're going to need that to sign into the app anyway, so go ahead and take care of that while you're here. And then I do want to point out they do have a subscription and a donate. This is all open source, uh, for the most part, open source. Uh, and it is volunteer basis, the people building it. They're re very, very great. Now, this is for the Octagon program itself. This has nothing to do with Final Fantasy TCG specifically, just Octagon itself. So if you have a couple of bucks per month that you want to subscribe to them uh, and get a, a few additional features in the app too, uh, or just you know throw a couple of bucks in a donation, please do. I encourage you to do so. I've done so in the past and, and will continue to do so in the future. They do great work. So go ahead and click download, get that bad boy, sign up for your account uh, while you're there. Once you get this installed, this is kind of your main screen on Octagon. Now, you are not set to play Final Fantasy TCG yet. We need to do two things. The first of which is head on over to our Games Manager tab and scroll down until you find... Final Fantasy TCG. Now, mine has a little check mark here, but yours, when you click on it, will have an install button. Won't be anything by default, just like here's Call of Cthulhu. I don't have Call of Cthulhu installed. If I click on it, I get an install button. Do the same thing with Final Fantasy TCG. Click install. It'll take a minute or two. It'll do its thing, and, and you'll be done. Uh, notice there are multiple games supported on here, including Magic the Gathering, Legends of the Five Rings, the, the old Star Wars customizable card game. I mean, there's a ton of stuff on here if you want to play other games. What you're loading is the game features specifically, including a good portion of the rules. So unlike Untap and Tabletop Simulator, where you have to watch what your opponent is doing to make sure, did they pay for a card correctly? Uh, here, it will not let you pay for a card incorrectly. So it, it takes away the requirement of needing um, more experience or, or having, yeah, experience playing. Yeah, Digimon is on here, chat. <laughs> Uh, Digimon TCG 2020. The Transformers one, I think, is on here, too. Or at least it was. Yeah, there it is. Uh, each of these bits of games, though, they're managed by different groups. So there, there is a team that helps with the FFTCG stuff. They're the ones that update the card database, like every time a new set comes out. And, you know, if there's new rules or features, they add the programming into it and stuff. So. Uh, so you got to get that installed. So you got Octagon. When you get to Octagon, go ahead and install FFTCG. A couple of minutes. You're not quite done yet, though, because if you went into your deck editor and you clicked on deck, and let's just say you were going to build a new FFTCG deck, notice that my Opus 1 cards have all their stats and the image for the art, but I have not done this step uh, since 14. Yeah, but wait, there's more. Since Opus 14 came out. So if you go down to Opus 14 cards, notice that I have all the stats because they were built into Octagon, but I don't have the art. And this is where official versus unofficial, you know, becomes a thing. If this was official, there, there would be no reason for the art to, to not be there. However, since it is unofficial and those are copyrighted images, Octagon cannot, you know, legally load in all the images for you. We're going to get around that, though, through another intrepid group of volunteers and wonderful people. Here's a link to a Google Drive that is constantly updated every time new cards or new sets come out. This link will be another link in the description. So you'll need to use two links, the octagon.net link and this link. But don't forget to install Final Fantasy in the Games Manager tab after you've installed Octagon. You want to go and grab this All Image Packs. This has all of the art for all of the cards. When a new set is released, you will need to come back 
and grab this file again. And that's what we have to do right now on my side. Since I haven't uh, updated Octagon since Opus 14 came out, been taking advantage of being able to play in real life uh, more than, than on Octagon lately. So all of my, here's my Opus 13s, we're fine. Opus 14s, not so much. So I actually need to do this. So I went ahead prior to the stream and downloaded this file. It may take a minute or two. You're going to head to the same Games Manager tab that you clicked Install for FFTCG, and you're going to click Add Image Packs. And you're going to point it at that All Image Packs the file that you downloaded. Uh, this will take a, uh, a moment or two. It is a, a pretty big file. So a couple minutes to download it, a couple minutes to install it, and then you're good to go. So all told, 10 minutes, I mean, maybe a little longer, depending on your internet connection, but we are all good. Now if we go back into deck editor and we start a new FFTCG deck and we scroll all the way down to the Opus 14 cards, you can see it has applied the art to them, including all the variant art. So we have the Opus 14 Legend Vaughn and the Opus 14 Legend Vaughn in full art. So if you want to bling out your online deck, uh, you can uh, using the full arts for whatever's available. The promo cards are in here as well when there are promo cards. So yeah, feel free to, to have some fun. But now we are all set. Yeah, I pulled this, I swear. Yeah, exactly. We are all set, but I want to show you one last thing. So you can go into the Octagon Deck Builder, click on New, Final Fantasy TCG, and start building a deck. There are all kinds of filters up here, so you can search by, let's search by set. And we want to see only the most recent Opus 14 cards. Search. There we go. There's all 151 of them. Or if you're going to build a, let's clear that filter. And if you're going to build, let's say, a mono fire deck, um, where is it? Element fire. And now we can start going through, regardless of set, the fire cards. Uh, now, since it's also searching contains, my guess is that it also has the dual element cards in here. Yep, that happened to have one of the two elements being fire. So you can search through and build a deck in here if you want. Totally fine. It'll keep track of the count of forwards, backup summons, and monsters you have. It'll let you know, hey, this deck, uh, if you save this deck and you try to load it and it's not a legal deck, the game will let you know that. It'll say you don't have 50 cards or you have more than three of a particular card, which, you know, playset is three. So uh, it won't let you load an illegal deck into a game. But it will let you save a deck in progress if you're still messing around with it. What I tend to do, though, because uh, uh, just ease of use and, and things, is I tend to use ffdecks.com. This is another group. They've actually got a play a deck beta uh, on their site right now where you can build a deck and play it on the website. That may turn into a full-blown being able to play right on FF decks. And if it does, that'll be very cool. I know they've been working on it for a while. I don't know if that would be a premium feature or not. They really haven't talked about that. So it's just something to keep an eye on. Uh, but this is the site that you see me using all the time on these streams to look at tournaments, which we're going to do in a minute or two. Uh, build decks, talk through with chat an idea um, and, and just generally check everything out, look at cards and, and things like that. Uh, if you have a deck, which let me log in real quick. Uh, if you have a deck saved, you can simply pull that deck up and in your little dots there, your little, well, it's not quite a hamburger because they're not lines, but the hamburger menu. Uh, you can export this as a PDF or a text file if you were going to go to a tournament so you had a deck list ready to go. But you can also export it as an Octagon file. And then all you do is in Octagon, when you're in your deck editor, you can actually load that file. And now here's that particular starter deck built down here. 
29 forwards, 3 summons, 18 backups, no monsters. And you can save that deck if it's going to be one that you're going to play with all the time. So it makes it very easy if you are, let's say, searching the current tournaments and meta, and you say, okay, here's 17 participants at Joker Comics and Games. Uh, let me take a look at who this first place deck. Oh, that looks like a deck I might want to play. Cool. Let me try this one real quick and go ahead and export it as an octagon file. You can start drawing sample hands. There's a bunch of other stuff you can do on FF decks. We talk a lot about it and, you know, donate, donate, donate um, to them as well. But that is one feature as it relates to octagon being able to export a deck, whether it's yours or one that you are just viewing. All right. I'm going to stop the tutorial part there. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, follow us on Twitch, all that fun stuff. But uh, there you go, little octagon tutorial.